really resonates with you, please leave it down in the comments below and put quotes around it. So Mrs. Sarah Vargas or Miss Sarah Vargas. This is Steven Anderson Snow. I'm sorry, I'm not used to these new dentures. That uh, you, you wake up tomorrow morning. My family, thank God, and pulled have, out all the you don't have a broken teeth that were knocked out know, with those two attached. Is the knowledge but they had to use their money because I can't afford okay. that on disability. So it's no big deal. And look, to get my real teeth back, I have to get this going. I, I have to file this. Rocky Rodriguez. Attacked me while I was sleeping. Morley Shazinski <laughs> smashed me in the face with the two by two, the end of a two by two. Damn. And uh, accused me of stealing a beer. He owed me four hundred dollars. I spent my, most of my time with entrepreneurs, and I he had my own beer. He said, "Where'd the beer go?" So I was like, "When you went to it's hide it and told everyone where you were hiding it, and you left." Chris. Bones, Chris Hoffman got up and drank it, and he admitted it later. And uh, Br had Brandon Hildreth, he's actually a friend, uh, on the second assault with Morley Shazinski. He was there when Mo came up to me and said, Bro, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know why I did that. And then Mawai sent me this piece of paper trying to absolve Maui County of all responsibility for doing nothing for a human being. I know. I've never, I've never been anywhere where they hated white people more. I mean, um, and I'm a mutt. I'm Italian. I'm Jewish. <laughs> some of my blood, some of my ancient bloodline comes from Africa. That showed up in my grandma's genealogy test. I mostly come from all around the Mediterranean. Anyways, I, I really need your help, Mrs. Uh, Sarah Vargas. I really need help. The cops tried to uh, to during COVID, even though they knew I from the time Roy Guerrero stole my medications and told um, a cow some kind of bullshit story. Is it? Because he's like a little a cow informant. You know, a cow from Kihei. But uh, after he broke this cheekbone with the golf club, and uh, I was like, all right, can we go file that police report now? The cops were like, no. You're not going to file a police report. 
I was like, what? What kind of police officers are you? Shut the fuck up, get in the car. Watch your ass beat. No. If you can't sell, you don't make money. Period. End of statement. You know, I was also beat by, by the police shortly after Morley almost beat me to death. And I don't give a shit about prosecuting him. But I'd like them all to lose their jobs because that's not what you do to people who've been beat in the head horribly and already have visions. I told everyone since the time I got there, the cops that came up, oh, who's pills are these? I was like, those are my medications. I'm on pain med- medication for management. That's what Roy Guerrero stole. Um, I was on anxiety medication. All, all of this. So they knew I was on medication and I was mentally disabled. And uh, they let Roy Guerrero break my cheekbone, and uh, I guess they thought it was a fucking joke. My life is not a fucking joke. And these people need to get their asses in their hands in their wallet and pay me. I was almost killed twice to somewhere where my family went over to protect you. Oh, okay. Okay, okay maybe our military bases, but, um, Maybe it would have been better under imperialist Japan. I don't know. But uh, I please, please help me. I need your help. I'm slowly dying of congestive heart failure. And I need this. I need this. I can't. I can't go out. I have a temporary place to stay with my family. But they think because I take medication, they're real religious. So they think the medication that I take, that I'm high all the time. I'm like, you guys. I broke my back in 2000, January 20, 2003. In Kipahulu, Lele Kea. Trying to save a young man's life. I lifted well over a ton, 18 inches, and I trashed my back, and my life went to hell after that. And I've lost everything. And I didn't, I didn't go to the young man's father and say, hey, to keep your son from drowning, I lifted well over a ton, 18 inches, and it ruined my life. Um, can you help me? He had just lost his son. But, you know, 
even through all those years of my sobriety of staying off of pain medication I, the pain got so bad I had to get back on pain management manage meant. anyways I've been studying tort law and plaintiffs and all that stuff and we need to get this taken care of. Please, please help me. My IQ is 127. I understand 96 point... I comprehend 96.4% more of the general populace. I can, we can help each other. You know, I need to pay my family back the 20 grand for these garbage dentures. I need, I need some serious, I need to continue serious psychiatric and psychological help because the nightmares haven't stopped um, if, you, if you don't think I'm worth going to bat for then, well, good luck, and, uh, I, re I really hope you, can, hope you can help me. I don't know how to file this. If I knew how to file this, I'd file, I'd file it so that I don't run out of statute of limitations. That's why they dropped Rocky's charge from attempted murder down to an assault. Nobody told me when to be at court, where to go, any of that stuff. None, none of that was done. The whole county, the whole county. It's like is so corrupt, and, and it's it it's one of the wealthiest so counties in the United so States. It's the most traveled to so island I destination in the world. I think they can afford to pay me restitution for these assaults they've done virtually nothing for so um, I really need your help Miss Sarah Vargas or if you don't want to help me please give me someone who needs the work because they're going